Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Alrighty, when we left off, we had not broken anything. I don't know why that happened. But when we left off, we had just done a couple of the brain dances that were apparently scrolled by Evelyn in the last couple of days and prior to the job. So, uh, she apparently knew about the chip involved in the job that she was getting hired for. And then, from there, proceeded to plan a heist around and behind the back of the person who hired her. And it went south with me and Jackie's involvement. And it went further south from there for her. So, now we get to see how that goes from here on out. Also, apparently, a couple of reading materials all over the apartment, so might as well. The Bushido franchise is a litmus test of our time. This groundbreaking film series puts on full display the entire spectrum of American society, masterfully pointing out the greatest problems of the neo-modern era. Live Fast, Die Never was, in its own way, a generational manifesto of the affirmation of life. Okay. The use of vivid colors, shaky cinematography, ubiquitous blood effects, and the pervasive brain splatter testifies to the extraordinary self-awareness of the director, who once revealed in an interview how he fucking loves it when hot chicks dissect the shit out of bad guys. Okay. Reggie, I'm sorry. <laughs> part of the game it technically works i guess perhaps no other concept more aptly describes the underlying societal ethos when bushido 3 was released especially note were i guess the word i was going to say was going to work especially worthy of note is the repetition in subsequent installments of the implant bomb motif through the prism of which the protagonist reinterprets reality. This seems familiar. It seems familiar because it seems like the overhyping that this game <laughs> ended up getting through artistic word choices alrighty one example of this convention's flawless implementation appears in the latest film in the series Bushido X Fade to Black the scene in which the powerful Gorina Gorira rather disembodies the arm of Jake as played by the transcendent Tim Kelly demonstrates in brilliant form the duality of the human condition. On the one hand, Jake loses his cybernetic arm, a symbol of both his tragic past and the ongoing techno-ontological conflict within his psyche. On the other hand, it is precisely due to this dismemberment that Garira is blown to bloody bits by a sensational explosion sequence and the final disintegration of the antagonist's body into a blood spray of gore. How should this be interpreted? It is a medical... metaphorical... I was about to medical... I don't know why. It's a metaphorical cry of deep-rooted despair, a manifestation of the personal transgression. Oh. Okay. All right. Seems like someone 
was given a thesaurus at some point. Yeesh. Ridiculous. This fragmentation of body could likewise be interpreted as the fragmentation of the individual mind, thus provoking the question, whose mind? Indeed, had everything the viewer seen of Jake's struggle been, in fact, a personified, embodied fear? Had he not been embroiled in epic battle with a vile monster, but rather only with himself? Oh, boy. Artsy-fartsy talk when it's used to this degree, aggravates me. <laughs> Could the entirety of Jake's narrative been only a manifestation of some cyberpsychotic dream state? Okay. Among all the depth and nuance that has defined this franchise since its inception, only one thing is truly certain. Bushido has forever changed the world of cinema. Right. Okay. Wait, you got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? Why? Worried they'll give Evelyn up to him? No. I didn't trust you at first, but... Well, if you wanted to get back at Evelyn, you would have done it already. So why the worried look? I just... I want it all to work out for you. Mm. You got a plan? I mean... I'll ask around, make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The Voodoo Boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's gotta know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Same. All right, and the level up. Thanks, Judy. No, V. Thank you. You're a... You're a good person. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. If she could have gotten to know you a bit better, then... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. Maybe. Didn't know she dabbled in robotics. Now that's fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. Hmm. Techy thing. Tech thingy notes, okay? I forgot to change the notifications in the pressure gauge. Add an automatic reset when starting it up. Tracking module froze underwater again. Probably the waterproof case is blocking the signal. Fix, make an opening for an antenna. Connection loss with the barometer. Oop. Sorry about that. That sneeze snuck up on me. Real quick. Oh boy. Connection loss with the barometer when set at bathymetric mode. Okay, I'm pretty sure I read that right. Fix. Add an automatic signal to switch back to the last position before connection loss. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Place looks like a fucking antique museum. Then I guess you should feel right at home. <laughs> Chick's got taste. <laughs> that all you have to say? And she's nice. Six out of ten. Okay. Various electronic parts, 10 to 40 years old, a variety of dated electronic parts likely collected to be repurposed somehow. I wonder why. Model of robot not found, assembly in progress, a unique bot still under construction. Okay. Rewiring synaptic pathways. Okay, after that sneeze, I need to deal with something in my nose. Give me a moment. Now I'm better. All right. Chapter 1, The Future of Neurotechnology. The 21st century heralded a worldwide revolution in neurotechnology. 
we as a society can no longer imagine an existence without technologically heightened senses, advanced memory capacity, and pain modulators. By linking our neural systems with computer chips, we are capable of learning complex skill sets in seconds, then subsequently forgetting them again the instant they are removed. Today, after nearly 80 years of increasingly incorporating these technologies into our daily lives, we must now ask ourselves, what comes next? In recent years, the academic community has reignited discussions on possible new methods to influence brain plasticity. Is it possible to create permanent neural pathways using coprocessors? Can we expect a, breath, a breakthrough regarding dopamine? Dopaminergic? I'm assuming that's how I'm supposed to pronounce that? Dopaminergic data manipulation in our lifetimes. Okay. If so, what will be the consequences? The probable emergence of commercially viable artificial neurotransmitters would undoubtedly reshape the health science field, yet would simultaneously introduce a potentially destructive tool to most governments and corporations. The field of plasticity manipulation remains in its infancy, but most experts agree we should prepare for a future in which such neurological rewiring become as commonplace as the cybernetic implants used so pervasively today. Studies should begin exploring now how science can adapt our bodies to optimize the effects of this technology while minimizing its abuse and potential unwanted side effects. Yeah, that's basically all you can do. Or at least hope to do. Okay. I've looked at everything I want to look at. Time to leave and call Mr. Hands. Okay. Mm. Didn't mean to hit that. Oh well. Time to call Mr. Hands. Shaking. Need to make contact with the Voodoo Voice Chief. You can swing it. All right, all right. Straight to heavy business. Hmm. Now, that'd be Maman Brigitte. It'd be tough getting a word into her. Maman Brigitte. And that sounds like a spooky cult alias. Have not had the pleasure of asking her personally. But it is what everybody calls her. I doubt the title has any real religious weight, though. Voodoo boys play pretty fast and loose with their Haitian heritage. Huh. I was led to believe you could arrange anything. Ah! Now that sounded like my third wife every time she wanted a new purse. You really don't do any biz with them? Not with the chefs, chefins, priests, and whatnot. All got dirigible-sized egos. Won't talk to lowly me. But if you insist, I can ask around, try to set something up. I'll just need some details first. Sorry, it's personal. Well, that's fucking helpful. Uh, got something they want. Truly? Want to sell something to the VDBs? Trust me, they don't want it, they don't need it. They're isolated, insulated, they got their own contracts, tech, networks. But have it your way. Okay, I parked that battle, but it's fine because now I do combat. We <laughs> got you, got you. Oops. Ow. Am I even trying? I'm starting to think, no, I'm not. Gotcha. And then you. Booyah. All 
Alright. That could have been worse, considering. Could have been better, but could have been worse. Alright, we got two others over here. And then this one here. There we go. Violence solved. Yay. Violence solved through more violence, but nonetheless, it was solved. I hit the wrong button. There we go. All right. Level up. I think there was 12 that did something I wanted. Yes. Yes, it did. In fact. Just the one thing, but it was the thing. Hmm. Oh, and then there was also this. Also good. Alright, um... So, back out. Do that. And then... Actually, we'll do this first. There we go. Alrighty. And with that, I should be able to create the epic versions of the iconic weapons I currently have, I think think well i can do it i just can't do it right now because i don't have the materials to do it because i'm missing these stupid things Ugh. always always all right um map wise where should i be going Keep busy until Mr. Hands calls back. Alright. I could probably do that. Okay, I can't. Oh, I see. Because there was two of them on that location. Couldn't select both of them. So they want me to zoom in. A lot of these are very low danger. Hmm. Oh well. You were the one who ran into me. Vehicle acquired. Oh, my car's back. Nice. I am pleased to inform you that your vehicle has been repaired after suffering an unfortunate accident. It can be found in your garage, ready for use. I wish you a good day and thousands of collision-free miles. Well, here's hoping. I have no idea what the uh, flashing is about. music suddenly changed, which makes me a little worried. Oop. Well, you're the one who got in my way. Okay. Alright. This one will take me down this direction. Oh. It's up. a little while. There we go.
Okay. I thought that was everyone. Wasn't it? Hmm. Hmm. I have no idea. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll eat that. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's just turn that off. Okay, apparently there's more of them. something for me? Well, it's like I said. Whatever you're peddling, the BGBS are just not in the market. But they have another task that needs doing, so I volunteer you. Do it well, and you'll get your audience with Brigitte. What's this task needs doing? Why? You... Before this whole thing gets finished up, I wanted to catch this. Uh, apparently, I accidentally picked it up while I was doing the conversation. Yeah. Oh, well. Archived conversation. Shinji Kato and Hideo Suzuki. Okay. All's good. You sure? Because I've been hearing things. Fuck people who tell me how to live my life. No, I get it. Just, you know. This is about our money. Someone die? No. Just trying to keep... Just try to keep it straight at work, okay? Who was it? Who what? Who ratted me out? Buddy, it's not like it's a big secret. People notice. You just never take a beat off. Your pace is a lot right now. People are joking you're contagious and you'll give them all ADHD. I heard about the last thing. You know, the no pants incident. Take a breather, some time off, get clean, whatever. Get off my back, Hideo. Don't act like you never choked the eel. I got it under control. Right. Okay. Gonna go picky on me now? The contact will fill you in on the deets. I got zero from him. Actually, got the impression I'd have to pay for every word out of his mouth. Okay. So who do I talk to and how? Hit the chapel on Sloan. Look for the altar inside. Someone will touch you, nod to you. Something spooky. Got it. Thanks. Oh, I can't get rid of that music. <laughs> oh well. Where? Didn't. Okay. I can't seem to escape it no matter how I try. Okay, whatever. Ooh. Can't leave these behind. No, 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 no. Turned you off, you said it. Okay. It seems like it's coming from there, but there's nothing that should be. Ah, well. Ah, uh, from there. Reports show unidentified thieves are cleaning out Ripper Dock clinics left and right. Ah, the NCPD is tackling the issue the best way they know how. Urging citizen vigilance. Stand here. The sun is down, but I hope you're still up. We've got showers in the forecast today. Ho oh, hum. But hey, at least pH levels are on the safe side. The only threat to your leisurely stroll now mm. is just a bad case of wet socks. Chiko Ogata and Kazu Inukai. Okay, let's see what this is about. I'm waiting. Crate with the item on its way to you, plus about 50 doses of glitter. Next week, make it 200. Hell, I'll take 300 if you can swing it, of glitter. Two more things. Yes, the terms with the badges have been settled, and the samurai wants you to put more kids to work. The children are recruited, already running. Don't worry about the badges. We pay, they keep us hidden. Okay. 
Well, apparently, child labor on top of everything else bad they were doing. Hola, how you doing, V? Find those voodoo boys yet? Not yet. I can imagine. Take care of yourself, okay? Don't want you to end up like Eve. What about Evelyn? Any improvement? No changes. She's trapped deep in her brain somewhere. Must be going through hell. Sorry. Gotta run. See ya. Okay. See ya later. Oh, I see. That is something I can get up to. Somehow. Ow. Ow. Okay. Well, not as well as I thought. Hmm. Not exactly how I expected. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure I can get up there after all. At least not without a cheatsy doodle legs. Okay. I should probably put my gun away. There we go. Go to the chapel. And how far away is the chapel? Out of curiosity. Oh. Yeah, that's a ways. <laughs> that is a ways. Whew, okay. All right. Well, then. Uh, go to this reported crime in a bit. But first things first, probably need to start... Breaking down some of the crazy stuff I don't need. Uh, might need... I'm not sure which of those I would prefer. Uh, okay, well, I'll just disassemble the ones I know I'll disassemble. Alright. Good. Okay, cool. Alright, that's done. Yep, there we go. All good. Mmm. Hold on to that. Hmm. Not that one. Mm, maybe hold on to that. Mainly because I want to see how it looks. Okay. There's that. And that's actually not too bad. I'm okay with that, actually. There we go. Okay, I still kind of look like a douchebag, but less of a douchebag <laughs> than I did otherwise. Whoop. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> I hit the wrong combo of buttons. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, well, too late now. There's nothing I can do to fix it. It's too late. <laughs> oh, I feel so annoyed now. Oh, well, it is what it is. Um, oh, there's the one that was still marked as new. Well, apparently... Oh, yeah, these two, too. Okay. All right. Oh, apparently a selling uh, location is nearby as well. So I might as well... Go ahead and try and use it. 
It's apparently up here. There it is. All right. Hey, I don't think I know you. I'm Claire. You might not remember me. Bartender at the afterlife. Uh oh, forgot to close my tab. Bar has a buzz about you lately. As the merc who's reliable gets things done. And since I need help. Okay. Need a driver for street races. Drop by my auto shop. I'll tell you more. Your garage, where is it? In Arroyo, on Valley. Lovely spot, can't miss it. All right, I'll try not to. If I'm not there when you arrive, just hang. I'll show up after my shift at the after. Okay, see you, Claire. All righty. Gotcha, okay. Well, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Time to sell off all the crap I ain't going to hold on to. There we go. There we go. Oh boy, there's a lot of them here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so many. So many. All right. And that deals with the majority of my weight. Okay, awesome. Alright, and with that in mind, time to get back to my bike and get on out of here. Whee! Whoop, okay. Almost ran into that car. That wouldn't have been good. Oops. <laughs> Might as well mark them. That way I know where they're around. And you too. Anyone? Whoop. Okay, someone would see me doing that. Oh, well, fuck me. There we go. Oh, come on. Really? Wait. What is what? Go down already. Thank you. Got you. Poke your head up. Come on. Yeah? Do it. So much for doing it. All right. All right. Could have been worse. Could have been better. But could have been far worse. Worked out the way I could have expected and hoped. Okay. Could have sworn I saw something I could pick up. Hmm. Guess not. Okay. There we go. Ah. A health booster. There we go. Not bad. Sorry, I ended up sneezing again. Man. Body's really trying to take me out. Okay. And a lot of Euro dollars. Okay. All right. The 
this is a lot of mess. Yeesh. Barely got in here. Okay. Whoops. Didn't mean to switch to that. There we go. And then up there. I'm pretty sure I can manage that. Whoop. Helps if I don't jump backwards, though. I'm trying to jump forward. There we go. This one's easy. Okay, easy-ish. Well, um... Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think I can do this. Easy. Alright, there's that. 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 There. And then... Booyah. Told you. Easy. All the good stuff right there. All right. And with that done, now we have another one in this general area. Smaller one there. Then we'll move on to that other there. Other. Over. Blurp. Derp. Derp. I can talk, really. I can't. I just, uh, you know, can't do it right now. Well, I figured some people around here would be upset. I kind of didn't do it quickly. Is that still not over, technically? Really? That's really weird. I thought I did everything involved with it. Thought? Did I not? Oh, I gotta use this. Messages. Reward. Gotcha. Ah, Eddie found a spot where we'll leave the scratch for you. Sending you the cords and attaching the code to the stash. Just divvy up fair and square. No need. Don't need any fucking fighting over scraps. All right. Okay. All right. Well, that will get me a nice little reward. Which, you know, is always nice. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to have it in the way. My bad. Okay. And with that in mind... Does it tell me where? Oh, the stash is right there. Interesting. Well, might as well go get the stash. There we go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> whoop. You, that, that time you ran into me. That's on you. Everyone is very concerned by my driving, and they should be. That was all very, very bad. Hmm. Ow. Oh. Easy way to get up to where I need to go. Okay. Health booster. Decent tanked up. And decent amount of extra eddies. Not terrible. Not terrible at all. I will have to say, though, not exactly what I was expecting. All right. This one increases armor by a lot, so let's go with that. Eh, a little better. And now I hit the right combo of buttons. Haha. -ha. All right. 
and new guns that I can disassemble because that's a good idea. There we go. At least for those kind. What about the melee weapons? Ah, it's one of those. Okay. Cheese knives. Okay. All right. Whoop. Come on. There we go. And down we go. I was pretty sure if I went down any further off that side, I was going to die. Or at the very least, be in very, very heavy pain. Whoop. Whoop. Sorry. Okay. I wasn't going to chase after you. I was just, you know, trying to get out of here. Because you were in my way. That's all. All right. Okay. V, got a simple, clean-cut gig. Need you to zero someone who's been extorting regular, hard-working folks. Our public enemy's name is Blake, and he is one slippery motherfucker. More info on him and his M.O. attached. Okay. Gun for hire. Blake Croyle, Oba and O'Malley Place Street. Racketeering's the name of the game in Kabuki. The badges pretend like they don't see when hustlers like Blake reel in the next victim. The script's always the same. Act 1, a promising money deal. Act 2, an unpayable debt. The sucker this time was Roger Wang, store chain owner. Blake's already seized ownership of one of the stores, but has bigger plans. Like I said, this kind of debt's unpayable, so Wang got wise and paid us instead. This human shit stain Croyle is about to disappear, so the time to act is now. One more thing. Blake's got hustle from the animals watching his back. Okay. You can kind of see that. Whether it's good enough remains to be seen. Alright, let's get quick ice pick in there. Fantastic. Weak to everything right now. That's fine. And let's see how long he lasts after that. Not very long. Alright. Need a little bit more time for the overheat. There we go. And just in case he comes too close. No, he didn't. Good. Okay, reboot. Oop. And there we go. And overheat. Sneaky ass fucker, no point hiding. Well, you say that, and yet I'm about to get away with it. See? Go do. Knock you. Knock you. And take your stuff. Take that stuff. Ben, Azaria, and Sasquatch. I'm assuming this might be Sasquatch. We're at Blake's. And? What the fuck are you bothering me for? Because here... T fuck off. Here they got an ingredient, an ingredient for juice. Lidocaine. Lidocaine. You fucking piss brains. Might come in handy. Then take it. Should we ask Blake first? Because it's like his. Ask your dick if it's got balls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to get the point across. 
That's a dumb question and stop asking me dumb questions. There we go. All good. All right. Oh. Rest of them are down there. Okay, well. I'm going to finish looting up here then. Before I go down there. And taking out the rest of them. What do you mean, what the fuck was that? There we go. Interesting. <laughs> that I was doing... Oh. That's what it was. I was doing the side mission that I didn't have marked down. The crime one. And what I was following that was blue was not associated with what I was doing here. <laughs> okay. Alright. That makes sense. Blake Croyle and Tim Autry. And got the... And got the eddies, man. On our way. Got anything spicy for us to start with? Beat down? Curd, curb stomp? You're just watching for now. Look tough. Guard me. Eh, sounds like a snooze job. Occasionally pop a knee or deal with someone's wife, husband, kid, whatever. Nothing too complicated. Now that's more interesting. Should have started with that. Okay. The animals are crazy. But then again, we probably already knew that. Okay. Drinks, dancing, debauchery. I'm pretty sure I read that. Okay, well, we did the big gun-for-hire mission thing. And I don't think there's much else I need to do that's in this area other than that job down that way. So, we'll get to that in a second. And by a second, I mean the next episode, because we're at the end of this one. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so I can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games. And now apparently in a hostile area of the room that was cleared. Oh, I see. I see now, said the blind man to his deaf son as he pissed him to the wind. This is the first I've seen of this crap. But, hey. <laughs> and now defending myself. And now just continuing doing side jobs before uh, doing the main mission stuff. Because, well, I mean, look at the shenanigans I deal with, huh? <laughs> These are a little more fun, not gonna lie. But uh, we'll see how how much further we can get into the main missions in a bit. For now, I'm just gonna loot and loot and loot until I can't loot no more. For you!